in the basement, the cellar of the Hayward Washington House that's built in 1772. And we um, came here to explore the two or three occupations prior to the Hayward House. We find that the cellar is pretty deep, but it gives us a chance to explore the use of this space in the late 18th century when Thomas Hayward built the house and in the 19th century when it served as a boarding house. Basically what we're looking for are different soil lenses or horizons within this vertical profile. So you can think of like newer stuff up here to older stuff down here and basically what we have here are kind of we've got one soil zone up here from the ground surface to right here. That's kind of like our zone A. That seems to be the most recent and then we've got a much broad kind of wider deposition period through here which is zone B. And then if you can see here, there's this charcoal or this coal lens that kind of runs all the way here. That's maybe, let's see, an inch thick or so. That kind of runs here. We think that's a base of a big coal, a former coal pile. Maybe starting at zero, go to the bottom and call all the lines going up. Uh, sure thing. <laughs> We found small lost items, which is what you would expect in a lived-in space. We have, you know, a few coins, pennies um, from the 1880s and 1850s, straight pins, buttons. We have a few child's marbles from the mid-19th century and the late 19th century. A little earlier, we have a little bit of the creamware and the fancy glassware that the Hayward family used that we have larger numbers of from elsewhere on the property. So we recognize those as, as Hayward's material. Augmented. Well, that was a question I had yeah. for you. Would these push in eight, two, two. See, I'm not sure how long they are or where. Point six. Probably room to room. Yeah. I mean, they, they look period. I think the fact that we could see, you know, through these little bits and pieces, you know, the people that lived here, which is ultimately our goal in archaeology. So we don't need a lot of artifacts to do that, but just a few evocative things like the coins and the marbles sort of tell that story. The rat's jaw also tells the story of sanitation in the city, the challenges of, you know, storing material in a space like this. Charleston is actually one big archaeological site, and so literally anywhere you dig, you're going to find evidence of past occupation. So a lot of times these cellars help preserve that. You know, there's per certainly the residential part of the city preserves it, but folks should always keep an eye out for, for those kind of carefully layered um, deposits on their property. 2.4 is 1.4. Okay. We don't push the ground, right? 